following on the heels of this Art Nouveau book by Robert by Norbert Wolf is this other one here. This one is quite old as well. This is a uh, Art Nouveau prints, illustrations, and posters. This one is done more by artists. I think it was done in the 60s or 70s, but still. And please don't take this book is difficult to get, so it's really challenging to find copies of these. But I was lucky enough. I think this one got a little bit of water damage, so it's what I was able to get. Um, so let's go through this one. And I was quite happy to get it, to be honest with you. Although it's not as big as this one, and it has some water damage, what I liked about this book is that it had different artists and even the more unknown ones. So let me see if I find a table of contents. Does it have one? Mm. Artistic aim, symbolism, tragic nature, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's divided by country. Okay, fine, whatever, right? So anyway, I like the fact that it's divided by artists. I can look and the more obscure ones as to be in, in, in fact. So which I like. Beautiful print. It would have been better if it did, wasn't water damage, but there's little I can do about that. So for as a learning book, a book to learn what other people have done, it has such a wide variety of artists here that you can kind of look and see, okay, well, if you like what they've done, you can kind of investigate more. But to have this book kind of gives you uh, how to put it, an index to look. All right, and you can kind of use it as that. And that's what I recommend. Um, you know, some of the more obscure artists, just because they're more obscure doesn't mean they did bad work. It just means that they weren't, you know, no one kind of recognized them for whatever reason. But very, very lovely. You were brawn. Classic. Barons. Oh. Someone asked me about this. Um, so this is the artist here, Peter Behrens. Who is this? Lecter. A lot of it is pen and ink, some is printmaking. As you can see here, this looks like a print. Uh, from Oh, it's a woodcut. All right. cool. So yeah, for me, this was an explosion. There was such a large variety in art and both in terms of the style. Oh, look at those curves. Look at that. Beautiful rhythm. I think that this is the epitome of what Art Nouveau stands for. That huge rhythm. Again, massive rhythm. Look at that. You can see the movement here. Oh, beautiful rhythm again. So yeah, let's just do a quick flip through. Ah. Yep. Great book, great references. Mu can't do Art Nouveau without Muka. Muka. Right. Interesting. Oh, look at the detail on this. Is this a woodcut? Cover for for them. It's a cover. I'm not too sure if this was a woodcut. This looks like a woodcut. So, for me, this book tells me there's so many different styles that you don't need to worry about when you're doing something to look like someone else's. And this here is what it is the water damage that I got for this book. <laughs> As you can see. So, if you can get one in really good quality or a good quality one, it, it would look probably a a lot better than this but this is what i got so recommend it highly five out of five um if you want to you can like subscribe follow um it should have an amazon link below if you are deciding to buy it you know you can use that link i get a small commission from amazon at no extra charge to you so appreciate that um thanks and goodbye